Here is an application problem to find length of a lake. To approximate the length of a lake, a surveyor starts at one end walks 252 yards. He turns 112 degrees and walks 230 yards until he arrives at the other end of the lake. Approximate how long is the lake. So let's kind of sketch a figure to find this length of the lake. Let's say that is the lake and a surveyor walks 252 yards. So let's say a surveyor is walking from this end to the other end. So he walks 252 yards, let's say in this direction, right? And then turns 112 degrees and walks 230 yards until he arrives to the other end. So he has to arrive here. So let's say so that's a kind of diagram, okay? Now, 112 degrees turn, that means he was walking in this direction and this angle will be 112 degrees, right? So that is what is given to us. And it is given to us that the distance traveled is 252 first, right? 252 yards and then 230 yards. And we need to find the length of the lake. So let us say this is the distance which we need to find. Well, we are given two sides and we are actually given the included angle since the included angle should be 180 minus 112. So this angle is, we can find it as 180 degrees minus 112. So that gives us 8 and 7 take away 1 is 6, so 68 degrees. So the included angle is 60 degrees. Since we know two sides and included angle, we can always apply the cosine law and find the length of the lake, the third side of the triangle, correct? So let us say the length of the lake is L. In that case, L, we can say L square equals to square of these two sides, which is 230 square plus 252 square minus 2 times product of these two sides which is 230 times 252 times cosine of included angle which is 68 degrees right so that is from the cosine law we can find length square let's use the calculator and find the answer so it is 230 square plus 252 square minus 2 times 230 times 252 times cos of 68 degrees that gives us a value of 72979 so it is equals to 72979.60 so that means length should be equals to square root of 72979.60 which is equal to square root equals to 270.14 so we can approximate it to 270 yards right so by applying cosine law we can find the length of the lake so that is a procedure to find length of the lake practically also so it's an application which we see so many times in practice to find length and such distances in remote areas i hope you appreciate it thank you